mechanic is somebody who can fix them. An auto mechanic fixes a car, a body mechanic is a professional killer. I'm a card mechanic, I can fix a card game. Ace of cards, Richard Turner. He can do things with cards no one else can do. He's a trickster. He is demonstrating the moves used by cheaters. The most difficult things you can do with a deck of cards. I represent why you should never play cards with strangers. <laughs> When I saw Richard Turner perform, I was in the presence of greatness. About halfway through the show, you can see different members of the audience realize it. This guy can't see. <laughs> I must know as a card mechanic, slang term, card cheat, card shark. I'm going to demonstrate how many ways I can take your money at the card table while sharing what it takes to become world class when you can't see and you have to block with your face. Laura, tell everybody your name. I'm Laura. There we have it. Now, back in the days of the Old West, there were cheaters everywhere. And the rule of the, rule of the day was if they couldn't see it, it wasn't considered cheating. If they did see it, they had the right to kill you. So you were either good or good and dead. <laughs> When you play poker, blackjack, bridge, whatever the game, you want to make sure your cards are evenly mixed. Here's a deck for Laura and a deck for me. So Laura, just give your deck some cuts. Just simple cuts, any way you like. Alternate, it, alternate the cut. Give it a flying three-way. Okay. Now you have to shuffle them. Break them nice and half, in half, 26-26. Okay. Lace them up nice and even. Okay, do it again. Do it again, nice and even. Okay, okay. And give it, now give it a, a, a cut, just a box cut, strip cut. Break it again, lace them up, nice and even. Okay, now give it a straight cut. And, and give it one more, just one, finish it off with one more cut. Got it? All right, the cards should be pretty evenly mixed. Hold your cards in your hand off the table. Let's just take a peek and see if the deck looks pretty evenly mixed. Do we have all the aces? Yes. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, Jackie? Yes. Okay. That's what I call pretty evenly mixed. We're going to give the deck a casino wash. Just so the people that have those funny cards, they would be destroyed. All right. And we will pass this deck over to Kathy, just shuffle them up and just set them aside when you're done. They're all face down, yes? Yes, they are. Shuffle them up, have them ready to go. This deck's ready, yes? yes. Pass them over. <laughs> How many have ever uh, played cards, have heard of wild cards? Like deuces are wild, baseball have multiple wild cards, other games, uh, they'll just cut the deck and that will be the wild card for the night. Laura, cut off the, half the deck. Got it? Yeah. And to make it random, just say any random number. Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. What's that card out loud? It's Queen of Hearts. So the Queens are the wild card. How many have ever played in a game where the deck is passed around the table? Kathy's deal. What's your name in front? David. Say again, Adrian? David. 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 And next to David? Uh, Pete. Pete. David and Pete and Laura. <laughs> Laura. So the table goes... The Dick goes around the table. It's now my deal. She handed me a shuffle deck. Now, I'll do, I have many ways to do this. I'll do it with my, own, uh, my favorite way. It's just through the acts of shuffling, I'm going to try to find some good cards I can pitch to my partner. Then they have what's called a random cut, and we'll give it one more little shuffle. Now, I'll show you how fast the deck can be uncut. What is that card? The nine is on top. The deck is cut, and the deck is no longer cut. Watch again. The deck is cut. The deck is no longer cut. So I'm showing you. I'm not trying to fool you. I'm telling you. <laughs> How many have ever played Texas Hold'em? Say yes. yes. In Hold'em, they have what's called a cut card, a burnt card. They'll put a card face up on the bottom. Good. Now, after the fact, you're going to tell me how many people step up to my hold'em table. Pete, give me a number of players. Five, six, seven, call it. Six. Six players. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Burn. And we always call the flop. And what are those three cards? Laura. Uh, Ace of hearts, 
Five of clubs, queen of spades. So the, uh, the queen was the wild card, right? So you have a pair of aces on the table right now. Burn, turn. What's that? Uh, eight of diamonds. Eight. Burn, turn. Oh, that was hard to stop me. What's that? Queen of diamonds. So we have three aces on the table. Let's get rid of our burnt card off the bottom. And let's see what my partner, Kathy, has in the pocket. I think, hold on. Which are your two cards, Kathy? Tell them which ones. There were three here. There should be only two. Okay, what's that card? Uh, that's the four of spades. Okay, that was a, what, what's that card? That's the queen of clubs. And what's that? That's the Queen of Hearts. That's five aces. <laughs> because with the wild cards and the ace, five aces is the highest hand in poker when you have wild cards. But you shuffled, you cut. I took care of business for you. <laughs> <laughs> Give that deck a shuffle. They all face down? Yes, they are. Give it a quick shuffle. Set them right there when you're done. As you saw from the trailer, I see with my mind and my Fingers. I'll give you a little background on my vision situation. In 1963, my sister and I, we both contracted scarlet fever. And for whatever reason, it caused us both to lose our sight. I was nine years old when my vision started going south. During my teens and 20s, my vision was measured at 20 over 400, which is twice as low as what's considered legally blind. Then it all disappeared. And I have to say, grow. well, let me ask this first. Is it okay if we're not politically correct for a few minutes? Yes. Is that okay? Yeah. Can we laugh and tell some jokes? Yeah. I can't stand this new politically correct thing. You can't be funny anymore. <laughs> and don't worry, the only one I make fun of is me. And if I decide I went too far, I'll sue myself. Sound fair? <laughs> <laughs> I have to say, growing up with vision, no better than the cartoon character Mr. Magoo can be really entertaining at times. Like watching as I stop trees, car doors, solid brick buildings with my bare head. Block with my head, protect my hands. Valuable? Not so valuable. <laughs> <laughs> but my beautiful wife, she's so immune to me running into things. We're sitting in our recliners. She's reading. I'm shuffling. The phone rings. I dashed to answer the phone. I went, ran square into the corner of a wall, split my head wide open. I'm gushing blood. She looked up from her book and said, now that one had to hurt. <laughs> I was on the driving range with my dentist. He went to the restroom. I didn't realize each time I put a ball down, I made a slight adjustment to the left. Instead of driving the balls at 12 o'clock, I was driving them at 9 o'clock right towards the pro shop. And the golf pro is down there yelling and screaming over the speaker, hey, you in the blue shirt. And of course, I couldn't tell I was wearing a blue shirt. <laughs> he, said, he said, what the heck are you driving those balls over here for? Are you crazy? I wondered who that jerk was in the blue shirt as I, bam, drove another two-inch bullet right towards his face. <laughs> when my, when our, our son Asa was about seven years old, we were at a restaurant. He had to use the restroom. We both sided up to a pair of urinals. And I'm being my normal goofy self. And I'm looking over and down at my little boy going, oh, I love to pee and get the pee out of me. When I feel this little tap on my back, voice from behind go, um, dad, I finished. That's another man you're singing to. <laughs> I got up to brush my teeth. I squirted the toothpaste on my brush, started brushing. It was awful. I asked my wife, I said, what kind of toothpaste is this? It's wretched. She laughed. She said, that's not toothpaste. That's spermicide. It's for birth control. You keep using that, we'll never have kids. <laughs> this is probably the most goofy moment of all. I came up with a great idea for the blind and deaf driver. I bought a motorcycle. I would drive my deaf friend, Roy, would tell me where to go. Right, left, red light, green light. It worked really well until one day we were pulled over for suspected armed robbery. <laughs> we, fit the, we fit the profile of the robbers to a T except for two minor details. The getaway driver wasn't blind. His accomplice wasn't deaf. Once we proved to the cop that we couldn't see the lights flashing or hear the siren blasting, I received a ticket for driving while blind, and he let us drive on. True story. <laughs> now you know what an oddball you're listening to. <laughs> this is what I've learned about life. We're all dealt different hands in life. With those hands, we make choices. A choice of mediocrity or painting a portrait of success. 
During my show, you're going to become familiar with the acronym DELT. D-E-A-L-T is in Delta Hand of Cards. D stands for dreams. Our dreams fuel the fire in our belly. E stands for excellence. What opens doors is becoming an expert, achieving a state of excellence. A stands for analysis. We must analyze our obstacles. We must analyze our assets. L stands for loyalty. We must be loyal to values such as honesty and integrity. And T stands for tenacity. Tenacity breaks down the barriers that stand between us and our dreams. 